Well, now we see one of the biggest matches of the day, especially one of, it was one of the fire first round matches that we identified as one of those big ones that we really wanted to see was uh, Lucas Hulk versus Baby Monster and Hulk getting down to guard ASAP here. I'm a little surprised. I thought he was going to stand in pain a little bit, maybe uh, try to come on top. But he does have a great guard as well, of course. Maybe he was worried about expending a little too much energy in the, in the stand-up exchange because that probably wouldn't have been an easy job to get the monster down. A lot of those fight sports guys are monsters to take down. They have great stand-ups. Oh, yeah, they really do. Yeah. So even if you do get the two, it, it might be a, bit, a little exhausted to get to that Yeah, Hulk has gone head to head with uh, with the cyborg, you know, so he knows what to expect with the, the fight sports guys and of course those uh, those competitors they're all super tough. They are extremely well conditioned. They are physical. all very, very physical and technical. That's the other thing. Let's not miss that out. But that is a potent combination. You put all that together and, well. Hulk looks very composed, very relaxed. I mean, he has a very aggressive and strong position, but he doesn't look uh, rushed or or chasing anything. He's kind of no. just feeling things out. And I mean, he's got the experience now. He, he knows, right? He knows that he can just ease his way into the match and, you know, he's also going to have a couple of matches ahead of him as well. I mean, the heavyweight division's not huge. Um, it definitely, uh, he's going to have three, three matches fights. to win gold. But uh, this first match could potentially be his toughest. So I yeah. think it's a pretty smart move in. Uh, I love that wrist control because it makes yeah. it very hard to get any passing going. So you can't, you can't hug the head. Oh, oh and then he comes knees. underneath. See Baby Monster doing his best to try and kick away, but... Hulk manages to get him down to his butt. And now you'll probably see Hulk come up and trying to get the back here, wrestle him down. There That's exactly what he does. Coming up very quickly, not giving any space for Arauju to run away. It's another example. We're talking about these wrestle-ups in the Nogi. You see a lot of single leg guys, a lot of X guard. And when the person tries to kick away, coming up to the clinch, it's beautiful. I mean, you land on top of the two or you end up taking the back from the clinch. It's very, uh, very powerful position. We got this good half guard now. And... and even though Hulk doesn't have the underhook, still doing a good job of keeping Baby Monster's back flat to the mat, which is hard to do without the underhook. So it's it is it's right, impressive. but I mean, look at the way that he's keeping that elbow closed. You can see, <laughs> yeah, uh, he's trying hand. to he's trying to dig it in, but it's not going anywhere. Wow, nice pass. Yeah, beautiful. That is good work there from uh, from Hulk. He's going to go five zero, three minutes into this match. That's uh, that's a pretty strong start right there. It's very dominant, and again, it's, it is hard to pass that position without the underhook, but he was doing a great job keeping the elbow pitch so much. Just the hand could get through, and it was enough to keep the back flat to the floor, kind of jump over that bottom leg. Now looking to settle into a heavy side control. When you get to side control at the very beginning, it is pretty tough to, uh, especially no gi, it's very common that you'll see guys pass, get the advantage, and then the guy on the bottom recovers, they slip the bottom knee through. I think it's really smart for both here to settle into side control. Really tight to the hip, you can see that knee. Really tight to the hip, so that very often. Now, he's kind of blocking the hip with a walk. He's doing a good job of trying to keep him getting a little shaky here. <laughs> doing a good job of trying to keep him flat, but then of course, he can't keep him flat. He's able to turtle and might circle to the back. I even see some arm attacks or some, uh, some choke attacks here as well. But again, a lot of control. Yeah, he's just so solid in this position i love the way that he he's not just sprawling but he's also going down hard kind of like you know controlling the torso that body lock mm -hmm. from top yeah it, it's hard to see when you're just looking at it but it makes the person feel very immobile so he didn't even have to worry much about sprawling to be honest because he's doing such a good job staying heavy his foot's back in the quarter guard now if i'm not mistaken but he does manage to get the underhook nice and clear this time so this is gonna be very tough for may monster to, to recover Keeping his left knee really high into the shoulder too, which is nice because you can't really, you know, use your elbow to push off the mat or turn on your side to hip escape, turn towards them. So the left knee is keeping him propped up, which is really nice. Good tight control here of the upper body. Oh, we might see him coming either to the mouth or maybe to the knee slide the other side. But with that underhook, man, that is a horrible position. 
to pee in on bottom. A lot of pressure coming down from Hulk Bar. And now he's in the mount. Wow. Really, really incredible pass here. Hugging the head. Lost the underhook, but it doesn't seem to matter now that he's in the mount. He's in a very dominant position. Might even see a little Nogi Ezekiel action. Yep. Looks a little, actually, looks like he's getting a little tight. Not a super common position submission in Nogi. Nice little transition to the back. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, Beautiful. turn there. Going to get the uh, the four points. Yep. Man, what a transition. Just racking up the points now. Barbosa's 13-0 lead. I heard to say, you know, we were expecting maybe a physical match. We were expecting yeah. maybe a 17-point lead. We were expecting maybe a... Um, uh, a kind of a hard-fought physical encounter, but actually this is one of the smoothest, most calculated performances from Hulk we've seen in a long time, and I think it's um, it's a very smart move to go up against somebody like Valdi Arujo with this kind of strategy. I think so too, because I think if he had come to him head-to-head -head physical, it kind of leaves chances for openings and right. surprises, right? He didn't want any surprises today. He just wanted to come in, control from start to finish, uh, very dominant performance. Yeah. The body triangle now is going to be very, very difficult to get anything really going from uh, for Baby Monster in this position. Looks like he's doing a good job controlling the wrist, starting to attack the neck here. Oh, he might have a little bit of a choke attack, but I don't think it's under the chin. Hard to see from this position. Can't see the hands around the neck, but it does look like he is putting a lot of pressure, and the body triangle, of course, very tight. But of course, no need to rush here for Hulk. He's three minutes, 17 point lead. So he's going to wait it out and kind of uh, take the submissions that present themselves. So he's climbing up slowly to the head. I'm, I'm curious to see if Baby Monster tries to come to the other side to try to pry open that body triangle, though. Because once he's here, there's. But now, of course, he's worried about. Can't quite see on this angle, but it does look like maybe. The choke uh, yeah. is in action, yeah. I think it was a little bit over the face, so he wasn't quite enough to tap, but definitely making him uncomfortable. That body triangle is such a strong control position as well, isn't it? You know, it's, it's not just a case of, uh, uh, of keeping the guy immobile, but you can really constrict the guy's breathing. You can make it hard, but you're just wearing him down. It's very uncomfortable and mentally very frustrating as well, because yes. not only can you not escape, but you're uncomfortable, like you said, you can't breathe. Um, very tough. And now he's just face down, sprawled out back position, which nobody ever wants to be in. And I do find it pretty easy to get rid of naked chokes from here, too, because there's, there's just not much you can do in this position, especially with that hip pressure. Uh, obviously, it's very strong here, very good hip pressure. And it seems, when you're watching, it'd be so easy for someone to come right up to their knees. But and that is a lot of force to try to just come up to your knees from there. It's very much easier said than done. Oh, the belly down this position when the guy's driving his hips down. Oh, absolutely awful. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, you've, you've even seen guys kind of just give their neck to get up out yes. of this position, you know. But I don't think that Arusha will give up easily like that, you know. But 90 seconds left in this match is a long time to spend in this position here. And it's it's like when you're there, I mean, that's one of the things we talked about Eight minutes left. You were to, to try to escape. It really breaks you mentally because you just feel so defeated. It's, it's a tough position, but it looks like he's still fighting, trying to come to his knees, elevate his hips a little bit, and just protect his neck. All you can really do when you're here. Maybe trying to come off to the side of the feet. You know, I see a lot of people on the bottom here start to like cross their legs and extend and straighten out their legs. Um, I think it's a natural. Like, <laughs> Right. All right, 45 seconds left. It's an eternity to stay in this position with Lucas Holt Barboza on top of you like this and just really just, just grinding the hips into the back. Yeah. Just surviving. He's just he's just really surviving at this point. Oh, but now I try to put his back flat to the mat. Choke is still coming, but not sure if it's gonna be enough. Oh no, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty tight. I think he might hold on. 20 seconds. Ah, it's so hard to say. Nope. No, there it is. The finish. Is. Wow, what a dominant performance there from Lucas Barboza. 17-0 and the rear naked choke submission. That was absolutely incredible.
such a dominant performance. What a close out, right? Yes, and very calculated, very dialed in. Um, the Hulk really... versus the monster and the Hulk comes out on top. <laughs> wow. I wish you would have worn the Halloween rash guard. That would have been even more funny for that. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Here's a replay. Talk us through some of this, Kendall. Well, man, it started with this with this sweep. I think Hulk does a great job of wrestling up. Obviously, he's, he has a great takedown game. And coming here, I mean, when you're attacking the back clinch, the person's forced to turn towards you, which kind of gives you that high single that we saw. Now, from here, man, the whole time he was on top, did such a great job of controlling the hips and the head at the same time, which really is the key to a lot of passing, right? Figuring out how to control the hips and control the head at the same time is extremely difficult for the so far part, right? But once he passed, it's very strong. And now here to the rear naked choke, she was fighting for for a couple of minutes working on that choke. It's very, very tight. Only 20 seconds to go at this point when the tap is called. But a lot of pressure. Wow. Yeah, that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful finish. And again, very dialed in, very, not super explosive, not crazy, not making a lot, taking a lot of risk, taking a lot of chances, just very solid. No room for anything.